friends i hope you're doing well in today's video welcome to my weekly walk around yes we had the daffodils and the tulips and the star right now is allium in my garden this is a pollinator garden bed so i have a lot of echinacea and black eye susan in here and a lot more pollinator plants but friends look at the alliums i love alliums and you know what i planted a mixed bag and all of the alliums they're purple it was supposed to be a white pink and purple but guess what everything blooming is purple but that's okay and then here we have some snapdragons from last year they came back i'm in zone 6b 7a if this is your first time joining me special welcome to my garden as i said before this is my pollinator garden bed right here in the front so if you've never planted alliums i strongly recommend giving them a try you would absolutely love them and, and what i do friends i leave my stem to dry out and i use the stem as floral arrangements for inside i'll insert a picture for you and show you what it look like when they dry so when all this turn brown the stem becomes really hard and brown of course so i just clip it off and i take it inside and i use it as dry floral arrangements and it's such a unique piece to put in your floral arrangement bouquet and then i'm gonna pan over here to the front and take you to the front and show you what I have going on over here. And right here, friends, I have more alliums here at the front of the walkway. As you can see, the daffodils and tulips are done blooming. Excuse my shadow. And then I'm going to plant some snapdragons in here. So I'll make a video and share that with you. But as I said to you before, you don't cut your foliage. As I said to you before, with your tulips, you leave the foliage to dry back. Yes, it's very unsightly, right? But guess what? If I want my tulips to come back next year and be beautiful with blooms, I just have to be patient and just leave them alone. So I'll tuck some snapdragons in there and it will look really good after. So this is the view for the alliums. Alrighty friends, and in the front here in this narrow garden bed, we have the small, I forget the name of this, but I planted this in fall. It was a Clarence plant too. It is blooming. Look at it. Love it. It was maybe just two feet. It's, it's a smaller rose and this is what the blooms look like. If I could find a tag, I remember the name, I'll put it on the screen for you. But it's perfect to fit in a small space. And here I have it next to the salvia because you know salvia complements rose very well. The salvia gives off a smell and I think the insects don't like it. And then I have some alliums I just tucked in there. And then these onion looking plants, they're actually drumstick alliums. They're so whimsical and fairy like. I can't wait for when they bloom. So this is what I did to this narrow spot at the front and my container is empty. I have to put some plant in there. And friends, here's a spirea. Yes, remember I told you before it blooms and it's a perfect shrub. If you don't have one in your garden, you should probably get three. Yes, if you have one, you should get two more. You would love these. This is amazing, strong spirea. This is from Proven Winners. And in here we have hydrangea tucked in here. And friends, this hydrangea is one that you get for the Easter time. And I planted out here and it's doing really good. And I think this one is pink. These are my old or stale, as we say in the Caribbean. These are my old planters from fall. Yes, this is a mum. I have to take it out and put it in the bed i have over there i have a bed where i just put miscellaneous plants in and this is a think of vine look at it it's so pretty it actually gave me blooms on here and then i have some alliums in pots so i have my planters here and i have to go and plant them as you saw i have a ton of annuals i have to get planted but this is what a container looks like in spring these were planted in spring summer and fall yes and then here, the alyssa, I'm not sure where this came from, but I think my pollinators did this because I didn't have alyssa in here and I got three plants right there. And moving over here, here's a view of what this looks like by the walkway at the front. And I have a lily tucked in here. 
and i'm gonna put some snapdragons as i told you before on both ends just plant them in between just to give me some color there and the rose is doing well this is a pink rose look at all the blooms on here friends yes double knuckled rose love it and we have some lilies coming up there and these foliage here these are the hyacinth as i said to you before with your spring bulb leave the foliage alone and let it die back to the ground i know it's tempted to pull them out but leave them alone and they'll die back to the ground and friends i'm gonna apologize to you this is a peony okay i don't know what happened as i said to you it's been raining here we just start to get nice weather today so i had to come out here and share this with you this peony was a coral peony and i'm not sure it's because it was raining a lot it turned white i don't know i don't know what cause i have no clue but it didn't last long it was so pretty i keep looking at it and it keep raining so i had no way of getting this video done so you can actually see it but i thought it was strange a coral peony turning into a white peony because of a lot of rain not sure what is the science behind there and here we have another rose of sharon blooming oh so pretty the sun is out excuse my shadow a lot of blooms on here and friends remember the yellow rose i told you about i planted in fall from lowe's it was in clarence look at it it's blooming okay it's a fresher bloom and this is what it looks like when it starts to bud out and then that's when it looks like when it bud is open and when it starts to become a spent bloom it looks like that and it cleans itself it reminds me of the double knockout rose it just clean itself yes and i'm gonna share with you how i remade this front garden but i read i did redo it so i'll share that with you and the lupine look at the lupine here it's doing so good i added a lot of plants in here and i redid it so i'll share that with you in its own video and here is this yellow rose bush from double knockout rose yes so our gas company came and it did something here they had to take this out put in a safer set and all of that there so they made a mess here so i had a red rose here so they couldn't find it so i settled for this rose because i love double knockout roses and i got a yellow and that's how i got this rose so there's a story behind it right and then that's what a yellow looks like when it starts to bloom and it just changes its color as you can see and then here we have more alliums i tucked in alliums in between there and i should remember our tulips here they are still holding on strong i'm telling you they're stubborn they're taking forever to green and probably because we had a lot of rain who knows and then here is one of my favorite perennials my scabiosa i told you guys about this one i had two and then i think one just died out and here's the other one and it stays green in the winter it looks like the boxwood in the winter yes it has that green foliage so i strongly recommend to get a scabiosa in your garden they have them at lowe's they have the pink and they have the purple and it blooms this blooms all the way into fall friends yeah so what i do just come out here and just cut out the spent bloom it's so pretty it's beautiful it's a strong perennial to have in your garden i guarantee you would absolutely love it and as you can see the blooms are very fairy like right very dainty very fairy light whimsical something different for your garden but i don't want to share all of the plants i have in the front here with you because as i said to you i redid this front garden bed but i'll give you a good overview in another video but let's move over to this side here friends this is my cut flower garden i have a video i'm working on to share this with you but let me share with you here we have hydrangea budding out i can't believe this hydrangea just got bigger everything just looking so lush i i'm so excited i can't even say my words properly everything is looking so lush the plants just got bigger and bigger and bigger oh and i think i missed this this is joseph's coat i started this from seeds inside and my stick here is for the squall you can see something was digging right there and this is like a coleus it gives you just foliage not blooms okay look how pretty it is so i just tuck it in in there oh and then here i have these drumstick alliums supposed to be like i think they're the ping pong drumstick alliums like a purple head really small and whimsical looking anyway so sorry about that let me get back to the azalea the azalea came with the house i did not plant them 
below friends every year this azalea gets stronger and stronger and stronger just look at it and i don't even prune it guess what i do i get coffee grounds and i put it at the root of the plant that's it i get coffee grounds with some soil from the root and just mix it in at the root of the plant and that's how i feed it no fertilizer or anything that's what i do with my hydrangea my rose bushes and my azalea i use coffee grounds that's it and this will be blooming for a long time friends just look at that i'm telling you it just got bigger and bigger this year and here we have hardy hibiscus this one is a pink one and this is the cut flower garden i'm stepping in here and I'll share this with you what I have in here. And in here we have a dahlia came back. I mean zone 6B7A. And my dahlias come back once I put extra mulch around the base of them. And I think this is a lax spur. I think the bird seeded itself there. Which was good because perfect for my cut flower garden. And then here we have more azalea friends. I'm just loving this. And the bees go crazy on this. They love it too. All right, friends, so I don't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to share with you my blooms in the front of the house. And this is the side of the house too. But anyhow, so take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. And let me know what's blooming in your garden right now. What blooms are you enjoying? All right, see you in the next one, friends. Cheers.